Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Well, it looks like we've got the Queen's Beast, the Falcon of the Plantagenets, uh, ready to be available for pre-sale from multiple different dealers out there. I've got a couple of emails today about it. And uh, let's take a look at these. You know, what I showed before was the proof version, and here we see the silver version. And uh, let's see if we can... Uh, Take a little closer look at this thing here. Here's the silver. And uh, I think it does actually look better um, in the bullion version than it does the proof version. But still, it's uh, the claws seem to be really big. And um, as I noted before in the prior video, I feel like that the wingspan is a little bit too, uh, too far out there and not in line with what the original statues were. I think the wings were folded in the original statue, but... Nonetheless, um, I guess they felt like this was a better way to maybe to spread out the design um, a little bit. But I think this does look better than the proof version for sure. Kind of a wide eye there. I wonder if that's uh, typically normal, as is the case. But uh, nonetheless, here it is. The, uh, the, the bullion version, which is what most of us collect. Those proof versions are just extremely expensive. And here we can see the, um, oh my gosh, the guillotine get, starts with the G. Galette, it's actually a, a style. It's not specific. This is a specific pattern uh, that is related. Galette or something to that effect um, that I mentioned prior. And uh, But this particular pattern is just one of the style of it. The, the, the galette is a very specific, is a very generalized term for it. And you can see this is the actual, the thickness of this thing. Uh, very cool indeed. And so there's the silver. Now let's take a look at the one ounce gold. Uh, this, and I'm not collecting the, the one ounce version of this, but um, you can see there's the same pattern there. Galosh, Galosh is the name of it, Galosh. Yeah, that's it. Um, and, uh, but nonetheless, there it is in gold. Beautiful. I think, again, I think this does look a little better in the, um, in the bullion version than the proof version. Although, because it's a falcon, are their claws really that big? Their talons? Uh, they seem unusually large to me, but nonetheless, um, it is what it is. And so there's the one ounce version. So I'll be getting the quarter ounce version eventually one day. Uh, let's take a look at that. Now this is, I don't know if this is, let's see here. Let's look at this thing here. Is it me, or is that background pattern on the reverse a little different? Or is that just the rendering than on the one ounce? You see that pattern looks like more of a spiral, like a helix. Let's take a look at that on the one ounce gold. That looks different to me. What do you guys think? If that's the case, that'll be a first between the one ounce and the quarter ounce. The detail on the feathers is nice. Let's take a look at that quarter ounce again. That seems a little strange to me. That, that pattern is different. And it's not quite as much detail in the in the breast feathers as well. But very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, if that is, that'll be a first, I think, for the Queen's Bee series, if that is the case. Four nines fine gold, 2009. Quarter ounce. And we have the Galesh, the... Uh, Look there on the obverse, and that will be consistent for the quarter ounce. So post your thoughts below, and looky here. It does have a, uh, Atmex at least has a, a airtight a holder for it, which is nice. I need to actually get a bunch of those. Uh, it's, since it's direct fit, that's what I'm looking for is a direct fit holder for these. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, post your thoughts below on this. Are you a buyer? Are you a collector of these? Let's see if the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, it does come with a, or you can buy, get a capsule for it as well here from uh, Atmex. Are you a buyer of these or not? Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and I encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.